Let me introduce to you in the event you don't know, this is Dad, the Lu Dad who is Luther, Melissa, and Oma Mae Lewis, who's Grandma, and Alan Lewis, directly behind me, who's the uncle. It's no surprise to you now that we have Rebecca Lewis, known as Becky, and she's safe. And West Wild Hogs is in the pen. The Memphis Police Department have him under arrest. And here's what occurred. Just a little while ago, a security guard by the name of Wyatt Bunker for the Baptist East Hospital in Memphis, Tennessee, recognized the vehicle in the parking lot. And he immediately called the Memphis Police Department. They said within minutes, the Memphis Police Department arrived, took West Wild Hogs into custody, and rescued Rebecca. We want to, you to know that the power of the media, the power of social media, and the fact that there was an Amber Alert issued in Tennessee added to the success of this very quickly. It's reported to us that the security guard recognized the Amber Alert in Tennessee. He saw the vehicle. He acted. Interestingly enough, this is preliminary details and is subject to change. But we're here to report that we don't know why they were in the parking lot of the hospital at this time, but the baby is safe. The baby is in the arms of the Memphis Police Department. We have detectives. FDLE is joining us on the way there now from the Nashville area. We've been all up through Georgia and Tennessee. But because of the work of the FBI, FDLE, Nick Mick, and Facebook all helped us communicate via social media with the power of social media, with the power of the media outlets, with all of the communication to, together today in high gear, we very quickly rescued this four-year-old baby. And I'm appreciative. But I want you to talk to the family because they're the ones that are really elated about the recovery of Rebecca. Now, Rebecca will come back here. West Wild Hogs will have the opportunity for a first appearance and whether or not he waives jurisdiction to come back or whether there's a hearing. And we will also be working between our state attorney's office and the U.S. Attorney's Office to see whether or not ultimately he's prosecuted state or federally. That's not my decision. That's a decision of either our state attorney and or the U.S. Attorney in Tampa. Okay, with that, let me turn it over to the family. Great afternoon, guys. Our baby's coming home. I'd like to thank every one of those guys in that back row, every one of those ladies and gentlemen that's been here with us 24-7 for what it seems like a week. All you guys for getting it out there for us to get our baby home. These two people for being so strong and just keeping faith that Becky would come home. I would like to thank this young man for putting it out there this morning to make sure that he knew just to bring Becky back to us get her safe whatever he had to do with her and he would take care of the rest and that was done thank all of you guys for being here with us giving us our prophecy when we needed it giving us y'all's attention when we needed it and putting this out there for us without you guys we probably would not be here are there questions describe what the, the, the weekend has <laughs> oh honey I'm numb. I don't know what the weekend's been. I'm so numb. I have went from anger to love to hate, back to love, back to hate. I can't describe it. I really can't. What was that feeling like? And how did you find out that she was safe? That young lady right there. <laughs> she come running to us and says, it's not official yet, but she's fine. She's okay. As soon as I get it official, I'll be back. 
seemed like hours later, but it wasn't. She come running back again. We have your girl. That's how I found out. That's how we found out. That young lady right there, what, what Miss Lori. Like, ma like the world had been left on my shoulders. Now the next world is just putting her back in our arms. So y'all go get her and bring her back. I can do it myself. <laughs> we'll do it ourselves. He's right. We're just glad I she's. I want to go get my step up to the podium. Come up here. I just want to go get my daughter just and bring her home safe. to and her brothers and sisters. Everybody that has helped us along the way, media, Facebook, everybody, the FBI, everybody. We're just glad she's safe and he did the right thing and took her safe. And I want to thank the whole Polk County Sheriff's Office for stepping up and doing the hardest work they have ever done in their lives. I appreciate y'all, Pope County. Thank you, Sheriff Judd. Is there anything you'd want to say to Wes Hawes? Mm. No comment. Thank you, Matt, for doing the right thing. Thank you for taking this young lady where she needed to be. We thank you very much for that, Matthew. We really do. I'll say it. <laughs> I want to thank all the detectives and everything that have worked so hard, and I definitely want to thank Mr. Wyatt or the security <laughs> guard that turned him in, and thank you very much. It's really what I want to say. Thank you. Sheriff, really quickly, do you believe that, that he was, was turning her in? He was bringing her to a safe place ultimately at the end here? It's too premature to say why he was at the hospital, but apparently he was in the hospital parking lot when... Wyatt Bunker, who was a security guard, noticed the vehicle, notified MPD. Memphis, Memphis police officers were, were there very quickly. They rescued the baby and took West Wow Hogs into custody. At the, we will release more information, and certainly we're going to make sure that the baby is reunited with the family just as quickly as is reasonably possible. We have detectives in the Memphis metro area on the way to meet and continue the investigation from that perspective. But I can tell you, without the Florida Department of Law Enforcement, the FBI, the news media, the social media, the Amber Alerts, that's how we were successful this quickly. And we will continue to work through the investigation and determine where and how Mr. Hoggs will be prosecuted. But he's in the pen now. Sheriff, is there any, any, any indication of whether he harmed her in any way? We have absolutely no indication that the child has been harmed at this point in the investigation. However, there will be thorough and complete investigations. We'll do medical screenings, psychological screenings. All of that will occur imminently. But we're excited. Anytime we can recover a baby from all information we receive now healthy and well and the guy responsible for it's locked up, it's a great day. Mom and Dad, if you could just tell us what's it going to be like when you see her come. Step, step up here. Step step up. Up. Yeah, if you could step up to the podium. When you see her for the first time when she comes home, what's that going to be like? I'd probably not let her go. <laughs> I'd probably Joy, never let her go. Love, never let her go. This, this has been hard, a uh, long, hard road, a very hard road that I would not put any parent through in my right mind. You see it all the time, kids coming up missing. Please, please do the same that you guys did for us. Put it out there, media, Facebooks, get your friends to create pages, Amber Alerts. Just please do it for the other children as you guys did for us. That's all we can ask. You guys, I understand there's a 7 o'clock event planned this evening. Are, are you attending that? Is that now a celebration, or do you not know? I have I'm not. I'm not celebrating until she's back in my arms. When you heard she was safe when she was found, how did that make you feel? Can you talk about the describe how you felt? Joy. My heart sunk. Joy. And joy. That he did not hurt her, and he did what we asked, take her to a safe place. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Okay, Thank you. folks. I'm Luther, the dad. I'm Melissa, the mother. Louis, both. Both. Yes. And sir, you don't mind too. Alan, A L O E N. Louis. Louis, L E W I S. Thank you. Okay, folks. As I explained earlier today, 
we searched for this child as if she were our four-year-old child because in fact she was until we found her and can return her to the parents she is our child and that's the way we work here and I'm so proud of our detectives and our colleagues from the other agencies that worked with us we worked around the clock to find this baby and we're joyful that the child is healthy but all the work was done by our detectives and our supervisors to make sure it was a positive outcome from our perspective but quite frankly without y'all and social media and us encouraging people in the community who knows what the outcome could have been thank you very much have a good day